Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas where I have arrived in Prim and apparently all the people in this town are hanging out in this I think it's an old casino and in the last episode I started talking to one of them but I didn't get to ask all the questions because the episode was getting too long so let's see if we can find him again and it was not him but apparently that is the cowboy robot he was talking about. So there is another cowboy robot that is not Victor. Because apparently that's just a thing around here. Robots that are cowboys. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I will talk to the robot later as well. But for now let's try to find the guy we talked to before. He can't have gotten that far. Ruby Nash. Oh, I think that's his wife. Hello. So I want to talk to her as well. Um, where did he go to? Maybe he's in one of these rooms. Nope. Oh, this is him. All right, let's talk. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about Prim, huh? Yes, because I have a few more questions to ask. You say Powder Gangers kidnapped Prim's deputy. Yes, he mentioned that. And I think I got a quest for it, so I guess it's going to be my job to free him. Well, you can call Beagle a deputy so long as you don't harbor too high an opinion of the word. <laughs> Boy was about as useful as tits on a rad scorpion. <laughs> Only qualification he ever had was to be brother to the wife of the sheriff. Still, okay. I suppose he don't deserve what's befell him. We would have considered paying the ransom if we'd had caps to spare. Okay, and there was no one more qualified to be deputy than him. Um, yeah, I will ask him. I will ask him about that later. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I thought they were called powder gangers. Yes, why do you? Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Well, I guess you're right about that. And, yeah, I don't want to play caravan, so... Do you have anything for sale? Well, give me a moment to get back to my shop and I'll show you my stock. Okay. So you don't actually have anything on you at the moment. <laughs> all right. Bye. Um, hey there. Well, maybe I will talk to him again later maybe then I can buy some stuff anyway let's hey see there, if hi. I want to talk to any of the other people I mean I saw a few named uh, residents and I want to talk to the robot let's do it Prim Slim oh, oh, oh. howdy partner welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum <laughs> who are you yes let's introduce ourselves Prim Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spokesman of the Vicky and Vance <laughs> Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay. Who were Vicky and Vance? It kind of sounds like a version of Bonnie and Clyde. Is this what it is? Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? I hear that Vicky a lot. Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's <laughs> who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Okay, so it is some kind of Bonnie and Clyde story. Sure, uh, tell me about it. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell their tale in a mess of years. First uh, things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Of course. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. <laughs> so who was copying who? Now true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, <laughs> check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, <laughs> it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. 
It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official <laughs> apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder, and there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Okay, so they're basically a budget version of Bonnie and Clyde. Interesting. No, I don't need to hear about it again. Tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum, so you came to the right place, partner. Now this actually sounds like a really sad place, even before the war. But okay, um, what else can I ask? What about the Bison Steve Hotel? Yeah, sure, tell me about that as well. <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. <laughs> I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealers over there cheat, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down any day because it wasn't built to cold. I guess they are like your competition, or were, anyway. Um, yeah, tell me about this place. This is the Vicky and Vance Casino, right? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prim's premier tourist <laughs> attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! Okay, I guess this is the official sales pitch. Um, well, uh, thank you, I suppose, partner. Happy trails, partner. Uh-huh. That was rather enlightening. Anyway, do we have some non-robot people I can talk to? What about um, the wife? Okay, here we go. Ruby Nash. Let's talk. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Uh, business, kind of. <laughs> but again, let's start with some introduction. I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around a kitchen. Yeah, he's not much of a trader. I asked him to trade, and he didn't have any stuff on him. I guess he has a shop somewhere, so I have to find that shop. Um, so, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. <laughs> it's perfectly safe, long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Okay. Because that'll kill you dead. And doesn't it get, like, into your, I don't know, bloodstream once you have it in your stomach? Doesn't really seem that safe to me. Um... I'd like some of that red scorpion venom casserole. Oh, I can eat it. Do I have any sauce in my mouth? That is the important question here. Anyway, tell me about Prim first. My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So I don't have nothing <laughs> to say about Prim, for the time being at least. It's a okay. sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. I can understand that. But sure, can I have some of your casserole? Then again, she probably don't, doesn't have anything on her at the moment, but let's ask it anyway. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? Oh, I don't have any. Sorry. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? <laughs> Come back when you do. Okay, so I can bring her some red scorpion glands and then she can make me a venom casserole because that's a thing too anyway thanks a lot yeah bye all right so she seems nice howdy, howdy. um so can i actually hey buy something now still hanging about prim huh or do i have to find that actual shop now give me a moment to get back to my shop, and I'll show you my stock. Okay, apparently not. Yeah, bye. I mean, I'm mostly interested in selling some stuff, but whatever. 
But, right, um, let's look around a little bit. Got a safe over here. Fixing things. Um, not sure if I need that. I mean, all of this stuff is hey there. property of these people, so I can't take any of it. But, yeah, it looks like um, I hey there. can't really talk to these people. They're just like normal NPCs, right? You come to the wrong place, Traveler. Prim's dying. If you got any sense, you'll be moving on. Which I probably will soon enough. The vending machine. Can I use any of these casino machines? No, I don't think so. All right. And this is the bank. Some cash registers. Ooh, look at all these saves. <laughs> but I can't open them anyway. A submachine gun? I mean, that's kind of tempting. <laughs> but okay, um, I think I have talked to everyone I can talk to in this place, so... What do I do now? Let's have a look at my quest. Find Prim's lawman to get information on where your attackers went. That would be the deputy, right? Um, yeah, he's somewhere on the outside. And I do have, uh, like, that site mission. Prim's deputy has been captured by powder gangers in Bison Steve and needs to be rescued. Which is basically the same as this objective, right? So I guess that's what I'm going to do next. Right? So I gotta go back to the actual town. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the Bison Steve is just across the street. All right, um, let's do it. I guess this over here is the entrance. All right, let's prepare for a potential fight. Oh yeah, um, there's definitely people around here. So let's take care of them. Um, are two bullets going to be enough? Uh, not really, but one more bullet and I'm good. And that was a nice headshot. Okay, um, yeah, there's definitely more gangsters inside here. Obviously. Um, again, I guess I will take the ammo and the weapons. Do I need the goggles? Um, doesn't really seem to give me anything in particular. I'm going to leave the outfit behind because they weigh so much and I can't sell any stuff at the moment. So I think I'm fine with that. And what do you got? Okay, more weapons. I'll take all of that. Purified water. That seems useful. Honey mesquite pod. Well, it does restore some health as well. I'll take it. Okay, um, let's look around a little bit before we move on. Is this another garbage can? Yep, but it's empty. So was this one. Open door, locked hard. Oh, but we do have a terminal over here. Hacking. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt to hack the terminal. 
Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force its security to reset, delaying your ability to start hacking again. Okay, let's try it. Welcome to Robco Industries. Huh. Um, four attempts left. Oh, I see. I have to pick one of these words. These are like the potential passwords. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot that are kind of similar, like selling and falling and sealing. I can see where this is going. Um, I don't know. Let's just start with one. Four of seven. So is this... The overall number of correct letters, but is any of them in the proper spot? Um, I have no idea. I'm going to assume it means four of seven, and none of them is in the right spot. Didn't the tutorial tell me it, it will say if there's like let us in the correct position. Anyway, I'm going to assume I have four correct letters, but I'm not exactly sure if they're in the correct position. Um, okay, well, we have a lot of words that are very similar. I mean, this would qualify, I guess. No, this actually has five, five common letters with willing. So that doesn't work. Same with this one. So it can't be any of these words ending in ling. Could be this one though. L-I-N-G are uh, the common letters. Okay, now it's five of seven. Um, well... So it's a little bit closer, <laughs> but... Still not quite there. Um, I mean, what other words do I have? Again, I already... Um, Established that it can't be selling or falling. It can't be this either because it has... Oh wait, it could be. If I look at wearing and willing, it has four common letters. And if I compare it with sealing, it has five common letters. Ah, there we go. So, what did I get for my troubles? Disengage lock. Oh, I can open the door. Right? So, have you have you um disengaged it already? Yep, it's open now. Ooh. Got some dead bodies inside here. Well, a harmonica. <laughs> I'm not sure if I really need that. Ah, another save. Locked average. Uh, yes, I can try to open it. I will take the whiskey and the bottle caps. 
Bad X. I mean, that sounds like something that could be useful. <laughs> Mentats. I have no idea what that is. Empty soda bottle. First aid box. Okay, I will definitely take this. Um, and shoo, I guess I will have a try at that safe. Oh, Bison Steve maintenance key. This might be useful. Anyway, let's see. Oh, I need more lock picking to even attempt to open this. I see. I'm not anywhere near 50 lockpicking, I'm afraid. Lockpicking is probably one of my weakest skills. But I mean, if I can use my science to circumvent the lockpicking, like in this case, uh, maybe I don't need that much lockpicking. Anyway, um, I guess it's time to move on. No, let's be careful here. I don't know how many convicts have escaped and are lingering around here. Open floor safe, locked hard. <laughs> Again, won't be able to open this. It's so hard to find anything useful among all the crap. The moment this looks really empty. Um oh, this is not a door. This totally looked like a door. But it's not. Take Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Oh, is this a special bottle cap? I have no idea. Maintenance door. Locked use key. Okay, so I can open that door. Oh, um, hi! <laughs> I almost didn't see you. Okay. It's just you all by yourself. Okay, uh, what do you got for loot? Um... Carrot. Again, I guess it does restore some health. Now, let me have a look at that maintenance door again. We have another door over here. Um, but yeah, I would like to use the key that I just found. Surely this is going to give me some kind of benefit. Alright. Still seems kind of empty. Oh! Up Hi! I already left him crippled. Um, okay, he's down, but I'm still in danger. Well, and that's the reason why. <laughs> um, so again, I hope... Two bullets will be enough. Oh, there's another one in the other room. Oh, um, this may actually not be an enemy. Oh, what the hell? What are you doing? Are you using like a flamethrower? Um, well, gotta take care of you, I suppose. Um, and, oh yeah, he totally has a flamethrower. <laughs> Come on, I crippled your head. How can you still be going? Um, let's use another vats attack here. <laughs> okay. Now he's down. Wow, 
There's a lot more people in here than I expected. Yeah, this guy is apparently a friendly. He's not red on my compass. But before I go and talk to him, I'm going to assume it's a deputy. Let me search the convicts. Yeah, he has like a, a flamethrower. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I really want to carry this with me. It's very heavy. I don't think I want to uh, take this. So again, let's just take the ammo. And I mean, I can combine these weapons because um, a lot of them seem to be half broken. An egg timer. I'll take the beer. But I gotta be careful, I'm very close to being overburdened again. Psycho. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. Um, have I searched all of you? No, not this guy. Okay, I will be with you in a second. Let's make sure that... There's no more enemies around. No, seems good. Okay, are you the deputy? Yes, it is Deputy Beagle. Great. Let's talk. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, <laughs> but my hands are numb. As a matter of fact, I am here to rescue you. <gasps> I've got to get going. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you here. No, um, I'm exactly here for you. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd <laughs> set me free. I hear you may have information on some cans that came through here with a guy in a checkered suit. How would you end up being a hostage? I'll set you free now, stay put for now. Yeah, how did you end up being a hostage anyway? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law <laughs> enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. <laughs> I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. Yeah, he seems to be rather competent indeed. <laughs> he was sleeping in the office and that's why the powder gangers killed his uh, sister. And then he got taken hostage by them. Great. Um, yeah, but you may have some information that I need. My good lady, I believe I may have some information that would prove useful. If you would just untie my hands, I'd be more than happy to share that information I have with you. Hmm. I'll free you right after you tell me. Um, well, do not have enough speech for that. And I don't think I have any magazines to increase my speech at the moment. Ah, uh, okay, well, um, I guess I'll set you free anyway, and I hope that you're going to be grateful and tell me afterwards. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> I didn't cut you loose so you could run away. Stick with me. Sure, run away, you don't look like you'd be much help. That's actually a good point. I'm not sure if you would. But, um, I mean, I have the speech to convince him to fight. So maybe I will actually make use of that. So I think you owe me. So please help me fight these guys. I mean, maybe there's no more guys left, but... Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. <laughs> you lead the way. Okay, so he's going to come with me now. Now the question is, um, do we have any more enemies around here? I mean, this place seems to be fairly empty. Apparently they have been sleeping here. And <laughs> they are like... Eating a two-headed cow? What in the world is this? What kind of abomination is that? I honestly wouldn't want to eat that. But you do you. 
Anyway, um... I mean, it all looks fairly safe now. Unless, of course, there's more going on than this. Um... I mean, there are a few more corridors that I haven't found yet, apparently. What about this door over here? Ah, I see. Can go upstairs. Let's be careful. Um, you're kind of standing inside the wall. <laughs> that is rather weird. But, okay, um, let's see what we can find. Oh, uh, we have more enemies for certain. But yeah, why are you inside the wall? This is strange. Got another door over here. Okay, he's actually coming now. And I see quite a few enemies around here. Hey! For example, there's one over here. Come on! Okay, um, are you actually helping me? Oh, oh, um, look at that. There's a guy in here. Good instincts. I wouldn't have expected that. Alright, um, I still see an enemy somewhere over here. Oh, two of them at least. I'm a little bit confused by the fact that if I aim, the crosshair disappears. <laughs> I don't like that. So let's just do it this way. Oh, oh, um, suddenly there's another guy over here. Let's take him down first. Oh, he's reloading. It's my chance. There we go. So, are you doing okay? His health is not doing so great. <laughs> Maybe it was not a good idea to take him along. I mean, we've already heard that he's rather incompetent. And I still need that information from him, so... Obviously, I can't have him dying on me. Oh boy, um, can take this, I suppose, and now I'm over encumbered. But um, I picked up quite a few of these varmint rifles and the pistols. Um, no, I don't want to change. I don't want to change my pistol. I want to combine them via repair. That way I can make like one or two, you know, fully functioning pistols, right? Yep, that works out fine. Let's do the same with a rifle. And my weight already looks a lot better. <laughs> nice. Nice indeed. Um take this as well. Now, do we have any more enemies around here? I do not see any more enemies on my radar. Door to Prim. Okay, we can exit here, apparently. But, um, let's look around a little bit. Ransom note. Okay, um, can I read this? Somehow. I think I do have... Yes, I do have notes. Mr. Peterson, if you want to see your wife alive again, bring the cash in small unmarked bills to the Bison Steve on Tuesday. Hmm. Of course, um... I don't really know how old this is. And have the brochure I got from the... 
robot, right? Let's see. Got a bunch of burnt books here. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like we cleaned out this place. A laser. Um, this might actually be of use. Suitcase, but it's empty. All right, deputy, I think you have won your first real battle. <laughs> At least I'm not seeing any more enemies. Oh, is this something I can go up? Oh, yes, it is. But again, it's so hard to see if anything of this is of actual use. Um, a Braxo cleaner, cup, right, nothing too interesting around here, no more enemies either, guess I'll take this, so, um, let me have a quick look at my quest. Um, quest. Beagle has been rescued from the Bison Steve. Talk to him about protecting the town. Right, so I just have to talk to him. I guess I can do that. Let's do it now. I don't think I'm, I'm going to need your help any longer. I don't plan to come back to the Bison Steve much in the years to come. If I ever get out of it. Let's get going. Beagle, take a weapon. Wait here. I mean, he does have a weapon, does he not? Okay, so I still have to... we will. ...have to take him along with me. I mean, I would like to give him a stim pack, maybe, because his health is kind of low, but I'm not sure if that is an option. Um, okay, let's just go down again. I saw like a door leading back to Prim. So maybe that's where we have to go. Um, Bison Hotel Cabinet Key. Now oh, this might be useful. I'll take it. And I haven't searched this guy yet. Lots of varmint rifles, and <laughs> I'm over encumbered again. This is not getting any better. Okay, um, again, let's combine some of them. That should help me with my weight. There we go. Um, apparently I haven't searched this guy either. And I should be able to open this door. Yes, I totally am. Um, let's see. There we go. Um, well, none of this is really that useful. Oh, I guess the doctor's bag is actually useful. And the stuff over here as well. Conductor duct tape center model module. I mean, this actually seems somewhat of use, and <laughs> this is just not getting any better. This is just not getting any better. Can I uh, combine more weapons? I probably can. Um, let's combine these two. And I guess I can combine these as well. Okay. This is just uh, just below my carrying capacity. So at some point I have to drop some stuff because 
I have too many stuff on me. Ah. So I really need to find some ways to increase my carrying capacity. So this is back where we came from, right? Let's just leave this place. Um, I mean, I can always go back here if I want to explore it again, I suppose. Um, let's have a look at the map. Okay. The exit is somewhere over here. Alright, I see. Let's do it. Okay, Deputy Beagle. Where are you? Oh, he's over here now. Let's talk again. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. But it was quite <laughs> thrilling. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next time ruffians menace us and hold us hostage? Um, well, I don't know. Maybe you just need a better deputy around here. <laughs> Can you tell me about the man in the checkered suit who came through here? What are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. <laughs> Which means this place is essentially doomed. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? I'd be going now. Yeah, let's ask about the guy first. Ah, yes. My memory is much clearer now that I'm free from my bondage. <laughs> I was uh, performing recon, gathering information on some of the powder gangers, when some great cons arrived with your friend in the suit. They were talking about some delivery they took from a courier. I assume that was you? They mm -hmm. said they'd be heading through Nipton to Novak to meet a contact there. Okay, that's actually some useful information. But Hello can we again. talk again? I don't suppose you've decided to help Prim find its next sheriff? Well, I might be able to, <laughs> if you don't want the job. Oh no, I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain <laughs> of command. Well, have you ever heard of, like, going up the chain? Anyway, um, apparently he doesn't want the job. Which might be a good thing, because, again, I'm not exactly sure about his qualifications. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. Hm. He may be a good choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take over the town. Not sure why they haven't helped out already. Okay, so... Note added you didn't shoot the deputy. Well, I tried my best not to. I'll help bring law and order back to Prim. Okay, um, I guess I will try to do that. I just have to find you another sheriff. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Mm -hmm. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay, so I have some options for the next sheriff. Any luck finding a suitable candidate for our next sheriff? I just want to make sure that I have all the options exhausted. No, I'm still looking. I do thank you so kindly for your efforts. Um, do you think Prim Slim could be Sheriff? That's the robot! <laughs> I don't know, what do you think about that? Well, I reckon he could be a Sheriff, if you have the skills to reprogram him. I have no idea. I, I guess I can try. Optional, reprogram Prim Slim to be Sheriff. <laughs> I mean... That way you don't have to look for outside help. I mean, the powder gangers don't really seem like sheriff material. And at least he didn't seem all that enthusiastic about getting an NCR guy to be sheriff. Bye. So, I guess I will have a look at that. Then again, I'm not sure what the other people think about having a cowboy robot as a sheriff. But, um, I might not be able to do this anyway. Let's see. 
Prim Slim. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Science 30. Reprogram Prim Slim to serve as Prim's sheriff. Um, well, I totally could do that. I have that much science. <laughs> do I want to do that? That is a question. Um, I think the idea is actually kind of funny, so maybe I'm just going to do it because of that. And I mean, finally I can use my high science skill for something, so I feel I should be doing this. And I don't have to, you know, decide if I want to take the Powder Ganger or an NCR guy as a sheriff. So I basically can, I can pick a local, you know, someone they already know and trust, I guess. So let's just do this. Law enforcement protocols reinstated, partner. Initializing use of force authorization. Authorization found. <laughs> Yeehaw! There you go. You have a sheriff. You have a cowboy robot as a sheriff. I hope you like it. Happy trails, partner. Ah, <laughs> uh, and I leveled up. That's great. Okay, um, let's see. What do I want to increase? Um, again, it might not be a bad idea to increase some skills to at least 25, for example. This one is pretty close. Um, medicine maybe as well. Um... And more speech can never hurt, so let's increase it to 30. And survival seems to be pretty useful in general, so let's put some points into survival. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, and I can pick another perk. Um, retention. This is uh, for the skill magazines. Last three times as long. I already have one level of swift learner. With a comprehension perk you gain double the bonus from reading magazines and one additional point from skill books. Now this might be useful. Right? Intense training perk. A single point into any of your special attributes. Just one point really? Um, I'm also very much uh, interested in Black Widow because so far most of the opponents I met were male. So this should be definitely useful. Um, I think I'm going to take Comprehension now and maybe Black Widow with the next uh, time I can use uh, a new perk. Yeah, let's do this. Um, no, comprehension. There we go. Sheriff. Everything fine in town? Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. I can't believe that I just made the cowboy robot a sheriff. Happy trails, partner. But I guess that's what happened. Hello. Okay, um, I might be able to talk to some of these guys again now that I've finished one of the quests um, but other than that um, this part of the quest is finished and I need to head to Navok through Nipton but I mean um, I may want to look around Prim a little bit more because there's more buildings around so I will do that definitely in the next episode but I think um, for now I'm going to call it a day and we will continue that in the next episode so as usual thank you for watching and see you again next time.